Hey YouTube, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to take this plain gray t-shirt and with fabric paints we're going to change it into this. So stick around and I'll show you how. Now in order for me to uh, complete this project, I'm going to be using this product here, as you can see right there. And that is a Hapri fabric paint. And there's several colors in here. There's the front of it. Okay, looks like there's 12, 12 milliliter containers in here. I'll just go ahead and open it up. You can take a look. And this is fabric paint. There it is. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And there's your colors. Alright. Also that comes in this package. It's one of these little puppies. You stick your hand in there and you got Okay, so all I'm going to need now is a paintbrush and to start painting my design on the t-shirt. Okay, so here's my t-shirt. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it up here. And hold it down with my pencil sharpeners. Alright, and you got to make sure that I find the center area here of the shirt. Alright, it's uh, about 21 and a quarter inches across. The chest here would be the center, 10 and an eighth. And I'm just going to take a pencil here. Okay, so 10 and a half plus an eighth, so that'd be 10 and 5 eighths. That'd be right there. But that's my center, so I know that whatever I do on this, uh, it's all going to be somewhere around the center. Now you want to go four inches down from your bottom of your collar. So uh, I have a band here. You can see the band of the collar. This is the edge and there's the there's the top of the collar right there, but there's the bottom of the band. And so you want to go down four inches from that and it looks like it's just above that little mark right there. So there's my center top. And I'll go like this to make sure that I don't, like a T, see? So there's the center. And then I'll put the little side to side. Next job is go find something to draw on here so that I can then paint it. Okay. So I printed out this Iron Man helmet here and I just wanted it in um, line art because I'm going to paint these all in on the shirt itself. But now I got to do is I got to figure out how to get this onto the shirt. And to do that I thought I'd try out using a light box. So let me get all this stuff out of the way here. And I'm going to bring down my light box. And you can try other ways of, of doing this, of course. But I thought, why not? I've got a light box. It should be able to shine through the shirt. Perfect. Okay. And now I have my drawing here. I'm going to go underneath the shirt. I'm going to slide that in there. right where I want it. And you'll really be able to see it. Look at that. All right. Now, make sure I got that exactly where I want it. I want to make sure that Iron Man's head is, is centered. Looks good. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and use this black marker here. And that's what I'm going to 
draw with very carefully. Things are shifting around a little bit, so it's a good thing I'm done. Now I'm going to finally see this in the light. Yeah, that came out pretty darn good. Before you start to paint, uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get something and put it underneath it so it doesn't bleed all the way through to the back of your shirt as well. So for that, a big old sheet of drawing paper which I'll go ahead and use it. You just slide it underneath so that when you paint, it won't go all the way through. Okay, now we can get to the action here, and that is of actual painting. All right, and now I'll bring these Hapri paints out, and I'm gonna need the yellow, get that out. And I'm going to need the red. Definitely going to be using up that red pretty good. And I'm going to use this thing, of course. Let's put my color in here. It looks like I got to pop the top. You use the pointer that's on the end of the cap here, the other side, and you press in with it. And you can see the paint comes out. Pretty gushy. I'm going to use this big area right here. So you just squeeze a little of that stuff out and I'll put the cap back on and I'm going to dab some of that paint off that lid there just so cleans it up and and uh, I don't waste any all right let's give this a shot here
Okay, now I'm done. It's still kind of wet and I'm going to have to set it now. Let's take a look at what the instruction says here. And if 24 hours dry naturally and then iron from the reverse side of the painted pattern for three to five minutes at 302. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry overnight for 24 hours and I'll be back for you in a flash. Okay, well I've got the t-shirt inside out and uh, I have it on my uh, heat press but like the instruction says you can use an iron. I have my heat press set at 302 and uh, I put a piece of that drawing paper in between there just in case it might want to transfer some of that paint onto the other side of my shirt. I certainly don't want that to happen. And now I'm going to go ahead and press this thing for about four, three, four minutes. Let's see, I got it set for four minutes. So that's how long I'm going to go ahead and press this. Okay, well, my heat press blew a fuse, but uh, it's been in there long enough. But I'm going to finish it up with the iron as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Well, there you have it. It was very simple to do. All you need is, of course, a t-shirt, some line art or something to draw onto your t-shirt, some good fabric paint, and a heat source like an iron. Well, that's all I have for today. I really appreciate you dropping in and watching this video. And if you want information on how to get the Hapri uh, fabric paints, I'll have that down in the description below. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I certainly would appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care now.